Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get super real. And today, by popular request, I'm gonna be showing you guys around my apartment, just showing you a little bit more about how I live and just telling you a little bit more about me along the way. I wanna use this time while we all have more time indoors to just get to know each other a bit better and just hopefully put some more lighthearted content out there that's gonna you know, brighten up your feed with all the crappy stuff that's going on right now. So if you're ready, let's go for a tour of my house. Okay, so first things first, this is my bedroom, the bed that you probably all know very well that I do all of my filming on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I usually sit here when I film and this is my bedside table. So this is what's actually on my bedside table picture of me and Kai on Halloween which I kind of love we were dressed as zombies some things I'm reading at the moment and my birth control pills and this little spray which I really love it's like a rose water spray Kai's side is like super bare he has decorative items which I've obviously put there and some nail clippers <laughs> guys I was gonna clean this up but I decided you know what I'm gonna keep it super real this is my clothes pile. I feel like everyone has one of these like in their house. By the way, this is also how I get around the house. As you can see, I'm in slippers. Not any old slippers, but the free ones that I got from the hotel I stayed at. You have to find the line between stealing and, and taking what the hotel owes you. All right, so let's take a tour through the rest of my apartment. This is my hallway. I use the word hallway quite like, loosely because it's so small. This is my little hall cabinet here you've probably seen in the background of some of my videos and my kitchen of course all of the essentials for making cocktails I've got my salt rimmer already ready to go because I make a margarita I want to say probably most nights my coffee machine which I can't live without and plenty of lemons and limes for making my cocktails and then this is my fridge it's got pictures on it that's me when I had long brown hair being a tourist in my own city that's me with some old friends and as you can see I'm a, a bit of a, a party gal I drink coffee and have sex and buy pies and enjoy battery operated devices let's take a look at what's in here oh vegan cornettos these are so good you guys if you've tried them let me know or if there's another flavor you think I should try Please put it in the comment section. My fridge, I think, is it's really not that exciting. We've got some of Kai's beers in here and pretty much always wine. <laughs> and then this is my living room. As you can see, I'm a bit of a minimalist. I don't have a ton of furniture in my house because I like to keep things simple. And you'll notice in front of the couch, there is no TV. I do not live with a TV because I just really don't watch TV. I just watch YouTube on my laptop. I have these artworks. I actually did them with nail polish. I just put on like some music and like splattered it everywhere. And I kind of like how they turned out. Now I'll take you to my office. And again, I'm going to use that term lightly because I so rarely actually use this place. It often gets used, as you can see here, by Kai for gaming. You can see like I usually have whatever is the latest products that have come in. And then I've got my product cupboard. You can see some of the products that I've been sent. So I've got lubes here and then I've got, um, this is a sex cushion that I got sent. It's actually really cool because it's shaped like a love heart. How cool is that? And so it's angled. So you have sex on it and it uh, gets you in the perfect position for your G-spot to be hit every time. So I'm pretty psyched to try that one out. I don't get time to try necessarily everything I get sent because I have so much stuff as you can see in here. Like these are all vibrators, like more vibrators. Down here, I've got stuff which I still am getting around to opening up. That's my office, guys. And then last but not least is my bathroom. Which is very unexciting. <laughs> this is our shower. I've got my Dollar Shave Club razor there. And 
my shower stuff and that's that's pretty much it this is my basin and my toilet i mean it's it's not really that exciting so yeah that is my apartment i'm spending a lot of time in my living room at the moment just like most of you i'm just gonna get a glass of wine to make this like even more like what it would be if i was hanging out and chatting with a friend so one second okay that's better i don't know if this is because of my bpd which stands for borderline personality disorder i've spoken about that a fair bit on this channel and the fact that I've been formally diagnosed with it. I don't know if it's because of that, but I'm also someone who's always had very intensely close friendships. Um, something about people who have borderline is they tend to, uh, they, they have like, well, they, me, I, people with borderline tend to have like a very intense fear of abandonment. I mean, we all have a fear of abandonment, right? Like none of us want to be rejected, but People with borderline basically live their entire lives looking for signs that the people they care about are going to leave them. And sometimes doing really crazy ass shit to try to prevent people from leaving them, which usually just pushes people away because no one likes a crazy ass bitch, right? <laughs> um, so, um, but the, the flip side of that is that we, we love very, very deeply and I've always been like that. I recently found out that my best friend is immigrating back to Finland, which is where she's originally from. She's been in Australia now for five years and she is absolutely the closest thing to family to me besides my own family. So this past week has been really rough. Um, the kind of silver lining of this whole crazy situation that's going on is that she wasn't actually able to leave the country. Um, there's a fly in here. God, that's... How did that fly even get in here? I want to also take this opportunity to talk about my channel because I've been doing a lot of reflecting on it. Now, I made a video a few weeks ago, um, which actually got a really good response from you guys. Um, and it was called something like telling the truth about what I've been up to. I'll link it up here in case you haven't seen it. But basically, um, I talked about the fact that I completely and utterly burnt myself out. Like, I have never ever felt that exhausted or that burnt out. But... The worst thing to come from it was that I stopped enjoying what I was doing. I started hating making videos. I started hating writing. Like I write a weekly column, I started just dreading it. I started to feel like I was losing my creativity and it was because I was just pushing too hard. I was trying to grow my channel, grow my Instagram following, you know, sell more sponsorships on my channel so I can make it bigger and better for you guys. and you know, write more. And in doing that, I just, I just completely burnt myself out. And, you know, I, I did see some comments from you guys saying that, you know, my channel was getting a bit same, same or whatever. And that I was doing a lot of sponsorships and I want to like completely fess up to that. Like I have been doing a lot of sponsorships and that's something that I really want to change. Like I actually just want to really start just being a lot more picky with uh, who I work with. I think I got so caught up in getting videos that were gonna go viral and get tons of views um, that I forgot about like my real true fans that are here like actually for me and for what I have to share. And so I do wanna do more of that. I kind of debated whether or not to even bring that up, but like, I wanna be really honest with you guys. I wanna keep it real. I wanna let you know that yeah, like I, I screwed up a little bit like my my channel did start turning into just one big giant ad and I don't want that I want more of this real content I want to do some more fun story times where I talk about pooping myself on a boat I am still gonna talk about sex because I'm passionate about sex and sexual empowerment and I'm never gonna stop being the person that talks about sex and is very sexually inappropriate so you don't have to worry about that going away but I want more of this real stuff too that's not so highly produced and edited and um where i can like look forward to it and i can have people that i actually am not putting on an act for and saying hi welcome to my channel like i just want to be like <sighs> i just want to be me <laughs> um and like i say even if even if this video only gets a few hundred views just to know that there's a few hundred people that i can totally be myself with 
oh, it, that is the most liberating feeling ever. So yeah, let me know. Let me know what sort of content you want to see more of on this channel. I obviously have a lot more time at home at the mo moment, so I'm also considering putting out more videos, but I want to put out also some more relaxed videos. So besides my normal sex content, what sort of other stuff would you like to see? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to finish my wine and um, watch some YouTube and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading the comments. I read all your comments every video, um, so even if I don't reply to them, so I can't wait to read your comments and hear what you guys would like to see next on my channel. Thank you for letting me keep it real, you guys. I love you. Stay safe and uh, the show will go on.